Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be checking out the Schwarzman Scholars Program which is a one-year fully funded master's program at Chunhua University in Beijing, China. Apologies if I'm not pronouncing those words right. So basically this is just like the own page. There's a video on why choose Schwarzman Scholars. There's a little description of what the scholars program is all about, right? It says it's the first scholarship created to respond to the geopolitical landscape of the 21st century. And as you scroll down the home page, you are able to access more information about this scholars program. So let's start with the program experience. So you can either come here to click learn more or you could go right here to the top of the menu and click on program experience so this is just an overview of the program it says right here Schwarzman scholars was designed in collaboration with world leading universities to create an international community that bridges differences and you can see those universities that were collaborated with to build the curriculum of this program and Schwarzman scholars is a fully funded one-year master's degree and leadership program and then we have the admissions brochure here which provides an overview of what the scholars program is all about let's right click on this and we'll check it out so this is the brochure that you can come check out it provides like a succinct overview of what the program is about the core curriculum which is focused on three multidisciplinary pillars leadership china and global affairs and one good thing is that you can apply to this program from any field so basically you don't need a particular course or program in order to apply and we'll check that out later on in the admissions page so yes, this is what the brochure looks like. There's a little information about the admissions process right here. It says that the selection process is designed to evaluate three key factors, demonstrated leadership, intellect, exemplary character, and integrity. And um, provides a brief overview of like number of applicants that they typically have yearly, and also the admission circle, so like the deadline. I will check all those out shortly. And as we scroll down, we come across the curriculum overview section and you can always check out the full curriculum if you want to learn more about what the program is about specifically. There's a page dedicated to that. Um, there's a short video that you can check out. This breaks down the academic curriculum. The core curriculum consists of leadership and we can see the courses listed right here on the screen leadership in business leadership in public organizations values based leadership and so on in addition to leadership the curriculum also consists of global affairs and china so basically it introduces you to current and future challenges in global affairs and the governance and ethical issues that confront leaders and as well as china a course on chinese political economic and social reform covering aspect of china's development over the last 40 years and then you're able to take elective courses as well i can choose courses offered through other english language master's program at the university in subject areas such as law public health public policy and so on and there's a list of like available elective courses for like the current year I don't know if it will be the same for the upcoming year and then you have like a capstone project which will be like a final presentation of your classroom and experiential learning and then they provide more information about the immersive curriculum so basically you take a deep dive into china you take lectures and excursions around the city and then also like language instruction as well as internships with personalized mentorship experience so basically a brief overview of the curriculum so let's go back to this main page let's talk about what's covered in the scholarship so in this program scholars receive a comprehensive scholarship which includes tuition and fees room and board, in-country study tour, travel to and from Beijing, 
health insurance and stipend for personal expenses so basically everything is covered like every single thing is covered in this scholars program you don't have to worry about a thing you just need to worry about reading and getting through the master's program the one year fully funded master's program so that's one great thing about this this program and what about the admissions requirements let's click on that this page provides more information about the admission requirements there's a little video that you can watch and as we scroll down the page they specify what they are looking for in candidates and right here it says that candidates who are most qualified to meet the high demands of the program must exhibit excellence in the following areas leadership abilities exemplary character and integrity academic aptitude and intellectual ability empathy and intercultural competency open-mindedness and entrepreneurial spirit so these are the areas that they expect that candidates must exhibit excellence in and then in order to be eligible for this program you must have an undergraduate degree says that applicants who are currently enrolled in undergraduate degree programs must be on track to successfully complete all degree requirements before August 1 of the Schwarzman Scholars Enrollment Year. There are no requirements for a specific field of undergraduate studies, just like I mentioned earlier. All fields are welcome, but it is important for applicants, regardless of undergraduate major, to articulate how participating in Schwarzman Scholars will help develop their leadership potential within their field. You must also be 18 to 28 years of age to be eligible. It says candidates must be at least 18 but not yet 29 years of age as of august 1 of the Schwarzman scholars enrollment year for the current selection cycle as of august 1 2023 and you must be proficient in english language and you can demonstrate this proficiency in various ways it says that the requirement is waived for applicants who studied at an undergraduate institution where the primary language of instruction was english for at least two years of the applicant's academic program and it will also be waived for applicants who have studied in english for two or more years at a master's degree level or I and they provide the acceptable test scores if you need to take a test score and if your native language is in English you meet the proficiency requirement as well now let's scroll a bit down to the application timeline okay so right here you can see the deadline is September 20 2022 for US and global applicants, applications are currently open and the deadline to apply is September 20, 2022. Selection cycle is from October to November 2022 and then the program would begin in August 2023. So definitely take note of these dates if you're interested in applying for this scholars program. The deadline to apply is September 20, 2022. And let's move on. And one thing I do like about the scholars program, see, I like a lot of things, is that they have information sessions online. So there's one coming up August 17, 2022. You can register for it on this page. So if you come to the admissions page, you can register for this information session and you can also check out past events on their youtube channel they have a youtube channel i've checked out the youtube channel very informative and they also have another information session on august 31st so if you can make the august 17 one at 9 a.m est you can try to make the august 31 information session at 7 p.m est so i encourage you to attend and they might even have more um if you click on view all you can check it out to see if there are other information sessions as well and in terms of the selection process of course you must complete the online application and submit it electronically and you must submit supporting documents and the supporting documents are resume so maximum two pages take note of that two essays and the two required essays are a leadership essay of 750 words and a statement of purpose of 500 words 
and the essays are a critical component of the application designed to help the selection committee understand you as an individual and get a sense of your leadership abilities and potential as well as your writing and analytical skills and then you must also upload your transcript to you need to scan and upload official transcript for each degree granting per secondary education institution you attended three letters of recommendation as well and then a video introduction so a short video self introduction of no more than one minute introduce yourself in any style or setting you think best conveys your interest and personality and the point of this recording is to allow the committee to hear you introduce yourself in your own voice and style and of course after submitting your application the applications are reviewed by a distinguished committee of business government and academic leaders from around the world and a select number of candidates are invited for interviews in late October and early November before an international panel of leaders from a variety of background. So yeah, that's the application process for this scholars program. There's full application instructions on this page. So it provides it in details like the application homepage, when it closes, all you need to do to create an account your personal information basically this is a detailed application instruction so if you're interested in applying before applying for this scholarship ensure that you check out this application instructions page like it walks you through everything you need to do for instance this biographical profile like they have like examples here that you can always check out and this is like an example of such so if you click on let's click on this person you can see um, written in third person like just a brief description of who they are so that's like the biographical profile resume or CV video introduction interest education language leadership roles and recognition professional experience essays recommendations and for recommendations all you need to do is enter the recommenders details and click send to recommender and the recommender will get like a unique submission link to submit a recommendation on your behalf they don't accept emailed or mailed letters or letters uploaded by applicants so just some general things to take note of like this is like a detailed application instructions page that you need to check out if you're applying for this scholarship and then let's check out their frequently asked questions there's also a frequently asked questions page that you can come to check out the frequently asked questions in case you have any questions and if you still have questions after checking out this page you can fill out this form just type in your first and last name your email address and type your question and i'm sure they will get back to you and with that we've come to the end of today's video do not forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you find it helpful and if you're applying for this scholars program i wish you the very best in your application process